I can't feel any sympathy for the people who are jerks and assholes and whatnot. And here's the shit that just drives me crazy about it. Because the people will have all of these feelings about them. And they'll be like they're being kind. But you don't care about the person that they're hurting. How is it being kind? Like you're literally watching this person hurt somebody. You feel absolutely nothing for the person that's being hurt. But that that's how life is. The human race is primitive. It doesn't matter how much technology advances. Everything will be a predator and prey thing. It doesn't matter how much we don't need to live like that. Because of this technology, doesn't matter how much information we have at our fingertips, it's always going to be a whole predator and prey thing. If that wasn't the case, then why is it that women want to date men that they see as strong men? Hmm? Explain that shit. Because you could treat her right, you could be friendly, you got the best relationship with her, but if she sees you as weak, she's not going to date you. Why does everybody yell about the whole alpha male thing? Why do people get called betas? Why do people get called simps? Like, let's be real. Why is it that modern dating is all about how much money you have in your pockets? It's all about predator and prey. That's what life is like. And people sit there and I'm like, when you say this stuff, like, oh, this person is... An asshole because they were traumatized. So do you not think that the person that they're abusing is being traumatized by them being abused? Do you think they're not being traumatized by the fact that people are watching them abuse them and nobody's trying to stop it? And if anybody does say anything, then their whole attitude is like, oh, well, they're young or they're this or they're that. Making up excuses for them, which is supporting them. Regardless of whether you disagree with the act or not, the moment you make that excuse, you're supporting the actions. You're encouraging it. And then it's like, personally, I know from being a child, dealing with other children like that, and it's like when people sit there and like, oh, they're a child and whatever, what happens? They continue to do that shit. They actually tend to get worse because now they know they're not going to get punished. They're not going to get in trouble. The other kids watch them. The other kids see the adults making an excuse for them. The other kids are like, oh, well, I could do this to this person because the adults are not going to care. They're not going to they're not going to do nothing. They're going to support us. They're going to have our backs so we can do that. Right. Nobody. Yeah. And people want to talk about how everybody gets picked on. But nobody gets it as bad as the designated human punching bag. And when you're the human punching bag, if you try to stand up for yourself, if you try to fight back, everybody, and I do mean everybody, gets together to put you in your place. And it's funny how when people snap and certain things happen that I can't say because I don't want my video blocked because I, I, mean, I want to get this point out. When people do certain things and then people want to talk about Oh, why did they have to involve innocent bystanders? Well, innocent bystanders are you people who are making excuses. Innocent bystanders are you people who turn the other cheek. I mean, at the end of the day, when you're sitting there and you're like, Oh, I'm hurting. Everybody's like, we don't give a fuck. Cry me a river. Shut the fuck up. Wait a minute. How does that make sense? This person is hurting me. You're feeling all sorry for the person who's hurting me, sad for them. You're watching them hurt me, feel sad for them, but feel absolutely nothing for me. How how does that make sense? But that's the whole approach that people take to and it's not about being kind. It's not about being empathetic. It's about this whole narrative that people want to promote. The people on this planet want to promote being the predator. They want to support the predator. And they hate the prey. What do people like to do? It's all your fault. 
people can only do to you what you let them do to you. Well, riddle me this, Batman. If people can only do to me what I let them do to me, but then when I stand up for myself, every single fucking person in existence wants to fight back against me, how the fuck am I supposed to stop people from doing things to me that I don't want them to do to me? Explain this shit. Hmm? How does that shit make sense? Because at the end of the day, I can't beat everybody. I can't. And it's like, yeah, I can fight. I can fight till I die. But at the end of the day, it's a losing battle. I'm getting nowhere. I'm getting nothing. Because there's no way possible for me to beat everyone. There's no way possible for me to survive if I'm enemies with every last person on this fucking planet. But you're trying to tell me that it's my fault. And that people are only doing this to me because I'm allowing them to do it to me. Explain to me how I'm not supposed to allow them. When you decide you want to not allow people to do things to you, you don't have a million other people pushing back. You just have them. Maybe they're friends, if their friends are getting involved. Sometimes you might even have your friends, but when you're the designated human punching bag, you have nobody. It's you against the entire fucking planet. That's what it feels like. And it's like people don't seem to fucking get that. You don't have anybody to have your back. Why? Because they feel scared. Because they can see that the people with the power, with the authority, are making excuses for this person. So they're going to allow this person to do it. So for their, from their perspective, it's like, well, how am I going to jump in to have their back if the people with the power... To stop this shit, instead of stopping it, they're just saying, oh, they're young, oh, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And doing absolutely nothing about it, letting them get away with doing that shit. How? How am I supposed to stop it? And then, it's like, while that person does that shit to you, if you fight back the people with the power, the people in authority, they also attack you. What do you do? These are literally experiences that I myself have gone through where it's like somebody was doing something to me that was fucked up, that was wrong. The person in authority excused them because they were young. I got tired of the shit. I got tired of the suffering and I retaliated. And then the person in authority attacked me. It's like, it's like people don't understand. I don't know. It's like you live in a whole completely different world from everybody fucking else. Because everybody seems to think shit is not that bad. Well, here's my whole thing. That person had their trauma that they went through that turned them into an asshole, right? So do you think the person who's a human punching bag in this environment doesn't go home and they're still the human punching bag to their family. You don't think that? It's not what you think? And it's like, oh, you're telling me about, oh, they're an asshole because they're going through this shit. Here's my whole thing. People do become assholes because... They go through shit, right? But people also become passive because they go through shit. But it doesn't matter because nobody cares. Nobody gives a fuck. And all people do is support that shit. So you have no choice but to go to the fucking extreme. You have no fucking choice because it's like you get tired of people doing that shit to you. You want them to stop. You ask them to stop. You beg them to stop. But they won't stop. And the people with the power to stop them got their back. Everything is against you. There's nothing in your favor. 
There's no amount of push-ups that can help you. No amount of money that can help you. Nothing can help you. Except to become a fucking monster. That's the only thing that fucking helps you. To make people fear you. Because they think you're going to do some crazy ass fucking shit to them. Shit that might put you on fucking death row. That's what the fucking life is like. And then people want to turn around and call you crazy. Be mad at you. Hate you. And it's like. What choice did I have? I begged them to stop. Begged them. But they wouldn't. You could have stopped them. But you didn't. What other choice did I have? I don't have power in any way, shape, or form. Becoming a monster was the only way that I could gain the power to make them leave me alone. What did you expect? But that's the side that people don't see. But people want to sit there and act like they're rationalizing when they say, Oh, well, why did they do that? Why couldn't they just do it to themselves? Why this? Why that? And blah, 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 blah. But ignore the fucking fact that before that person went to that fucking extreme, they didn't have any other options. Anything else that they could have done that would have worked. Yeah, all of the logical shit that you're making up in your head, it wouldn't work out the perfect way that you're planning in your fucking head. It doesn't work like that. 100% of all of the fucking solutions that you come up with still involve them suffering. Still. Changes nothing for them. Yeah, you don't suffer because none of the people you care about get hurt. But they continue to get hurt. So they have to do something to make it stop. You could stop this. But you choose not to. But yet you want to call yourself kind and empathetic and all this other bullshit.